Charles Coburn, a well-known actor from the golden era of Hollywood, has a fascinating story, especially about how he moved from theater to movies. He began acting in films when he was older, which is unusual, but quickly became successful, even winning an Oscar for The More the Merrier. His decision to start a film career at an older age is both impressive and interesting. Many fans fondly remember the humor and warmth he brought to his roles. He often played lovable and slightly quirky older characters. His performances, full of humor and a spark in his eye, have made a lasting impact, appealing to people across different ages. We'd love to hear about your favorite memory or personal experience with Charles Coburn. What parts of his career really stand out to you? Please share your stories in the comments below. We're excited to read them. And keep watching as we dive deeper into the life of this classic Hollywood actor, revealing many humorous, surprising, and sad details. In the fascinating world of classic Hollywood, let's turn our attention to an actor who found success in films despite starting late in the industry. He began his journey in theater and later transitioned to movies, proving that talent has no age limit. This actor's career is noteworthy for its unconventional path, entering the film scene at a later stage and quickly reaching the pinnacle with an Academy Award win. His roles, often portraying lovable and somewhat quirky older characters, touched the hearts of audiences, bringing joy and warmth to the screen. He had a special knack for connecting with viewers, delivering performances characterized by a unique mix of humor and a sparkle in his eye. This connection crossed generational boundaries, making him a beloved figure to many. His move from theater to film and subsequent success is not only impressive, but also serves as an inspiration, highlighting that it's never too late to explore new opportunities in one's career. His impact on the film industry speaks to his talent and adaptability. Beyond winning an Oscar, he left behind a rich collection of performances that continue to entertain and motivate. His journey challenges the traditional narrative of success and timing in Hollywood, making his story one of resilience and flexibility. It's this combination of achieving career success later in life and delivering memorable performances that makes him a figure worth celebrating and remembering. As we delve deeper into his life and career, take a moment to think about what aspects of his work inspire you the most. His story is not just about being a successful actor, but also about defying the norms of his time, proving that age is just a number when it comes to pursuing your passion and achieving success. Exploring Charles Coburn's personal life unveils a story marked by resilience and unwavering commitment. Beyond the glamour of Hollywood, he encountered challenges, particularly in relationships. Married multiple times, he navigated the ups and downs of matrimony, revealing a more complex side of his life. These personal struggles demonstrate that even beloved Hollywood figures face common relationship challenges. In addition to his on-screen success, Coburn faced hardships off-screen, adding depth to his portrayal of characters. His ability to connect with audiences might have been influenced by the personal complexities he experienced. Despite these hurdles, Coburn remained dedicated to his craft and his ability to connect with audiences persisted. Considering Coburn's life beyond Hollywood's glitter, we gain insight into the man behind the roles. His journey, marked by both triumphs and challenges, provides a nuanced understanding of the actor. It serves as a reminder that behind the silver screen lies a person with a unique story, navigating relationship complexities and personal challenges with resilience. As we continue to uncover Charles Coburn's life, let's appreciate the layers that make his story not just about Hollywood success, but also about universal aspects of the human experience. His capacity to rise above personal struggles and deliver resonant performances speaks to a depth that goes beyond audience applause. Charles Coburn was a familiar face in several Oscar-nominated films. His roles in King's Row, The More the Merrier, Heaven Can Wait, Wilson, and Around the World in 80 Days show what his acting skills. Of these, only Around the World in 80 Days won an Oscar. He once shared in an interview how his movie career began. He used to hand out playbills on Broughton Street in Savannah, Georgia. This small job was the start of his journey from theater to movies. During the late 1930s and early 1940s, he spent most of his time in Hollywood, but would return to New York every summer. In 1946, he decided to live in Hollywood permanently, dedicating himself to his film career. 
Coburn's success story is unusual for Hollywood. He started his film career later in life and quickly became successful. His switch from theater to movies broke the usual pattern and inspired many people. It showed Wood that it's never too late to follow your dreams. His life was more than just his film roles. He faced personal challenges, especially in his marriages. These experiences gave depth to his acting and helped him connect with his audience. They show Wood that famous people have problems just like everyone else. Despite his personal difficulties, he continued to give strong performances. His ability to overcome challenges and connect with his audience show what a side of him that went beyond his film roles. Remembering Charles Coburn means recognizing not just his successful career, but also the personal challenges he faced. It shows his strength and ability to keep going no matter what. Delving into his early years, the actor's journey in the world of entertainment began modestly. He started working at a local theater in Savannah, Georgia, where his initial roles included being an usher and a doorman. This job was more than just a stepping stone. It laid the foundation for his deep understanding of the theater world. By the age of 17, he had risen to the position of manager of the theater, showcasing his early leadership and organizational skills. His passion for theater soon led him to take a step further into the limelight. He transitioned from managing theaters to acting on stage, making his first appearance on Broadway in 1901. This marked the beginning of a new chapter in his career, one where he would hone his acting skills and prepare for the eventual transition to film. Another significant chapter in his life involved his marriage to Eva Wills, a fellow actress. Together, they formed a repertory company, a venture that demonstrated not only their professional collaboration, but also their personal bond. This company was a crucial part of his life and career, lasting until her death in 1937. The end of this partnership was undoubtedly a poignant moment in his life, marking the end of an era both professionally and personally. Beyond his achievements on stage and screen, he received a notable honor that cemented his status in Hollywood. He was awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame on February 8, 1960. This accolade recognized his contributions to the film industry and his status as a respected actor. It served as a physical manifestation of his success and the admiration he garnered from both the industry and his fans. In sum, his journey from a theater usher to a celebrated Hollywood star is a tale of passion, dedication, and talent. His transition from managing theaters to acting, his partnership with his wife in their repertory company, and his recognition with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame highlight different facets of his career. These milestones not only shaped his professional life, but also left a lasting impression on those who appreciated his work in the entertainment industry. In his journey through Hollywood, the actor auditioned for the role of Judge Hardy in the Andy Hardy series by Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer. While he didn't secure this part, his talent caught the eye of director Clarence Brown. This led to his casting in of Human Hearts in 1938, marking a significant step in his film career. A unique aspect of his appearance was his famous monocle. This was not just for style, it was a practical solution for an eye deficiency. He often quipped, no point having two window panes where one will do, showcasing his practical approach and wit. Off the screen, he had a quirky habit, as recalled by Piper Laurie in her memoirs. He was known for playfully pinching women's bottoms, a behavior that seemed almost like a tick. Despite this, it was never perceived as malicious, and no allegations of misconduct were made against him. This habit, odd as it may seem, was part of the off-screen persona that many in Hollywood knew. He brought not only his acting skills, but also his unique personality to Hollywood, making a mark both on and off the screen. His career, marked by significant roles and memorable personal traits, remains a topic of interest for those who follow classic Hollywood stories.